Wow, something I just noticed on the uh, pause screen, which is really creepy, is the beaver is still blinking. Still blinking! Alright, I'm back from my little miniature break, and uh, we are on, supposedly, after I cut this all up, the next episode of Let's Play Banjo because we got on the Xbox Live Arcade. And we just uh, did our little thing, we helped the beaver out, so now we're getting back into the swing of things in Fall of Click Clock Wood. I had myself a little bit of a refreshing Mountain Dew drank, and I'm, I'm back, I'm back. So, uh, wow, there's a little honeycomb piece down there. I think, yeah, I got these notes. Okay, yeah. I was, like, watching TV while I was, uh, taking my little break, so I, <laughs> it's like I already forgot what I just did in the last episode. Derp. Okay. Oh, we got these notes and a ginger. So it looks like there's only one ginger left. I, yeah, he looks, I think he's in winter. It's not here. But we've got Gobi one more time. Gobi, how you doing? Oops, just kidding. So now uh, that we've pretty much humiliated Gobi for the last time, the flower is going to grow to its giant size and a jiggy is going to appear. And so Gobi gets mad and finally, finally he runs away for the final time in this game. And uh, so now that jiggy has appeared on top of the flower, the only problem I have remembering, or the only problem I have uh, getting a jiggy is just remembering that it's there. I always forget, like, oh, <laughs> whoops, forgot to get the jiggy on the flower. And like I said, it would be really cool if you could, like, the whole point wasn't just watering it, like, you had to pollinate it during the summer, and then you had to water it with goby. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Pretty good idea, if I do say so myself. And I can't remember, uh, how many, uh, caterpillars did... What's his face want this time? Eerie the Eerie the Eagle. How many caterpillars? Oh, you know what? I remember where the uh I remember the last Jinjo as he's on Mumbo's hut during the winter. Hey! Let me up. Okay. Now there's notes in here, which is kind of important. So Summer had Summer had uh, the mumbo token in the hut. Spring only had, um, I think it was, like, eggs or something. Uh, and now, fall had notes in mumbo's hut, and so, yeah, like I said, it keeps changing during the season, so you have to be sure to get back. What am I doing? I'm still using the boots. I'm stupid. Get off them boots! Okay, and there, I think there's a couple notes that I never collected on this set. Hey, just kidding, I got them. How about... Oh yeah, it's because I got these notes. Duh. Ow, it just jumped right into his face. That would sure feel great. Alright, so we're sending the tree for like the bazillionth time already, and we still have another season to go. Please don't tell me there's anything important here. Okay, no. There's nothing important inside of his jaw this time. But there's a Mumbo token out here. Hey, check that out. The music here is pretty good, though. And it changes with the season as well, as as does all the rest of the stuff in the level. But it's really cool, because it's like different themes that sort of get you in the mood. Ooh. Kind of tricky out here. I can hear Eerie. I can hear Eerie. Hey, wait a minute. I could have sworn I just saw... Oh. I thought I saw uh, a caterpillar, and it's actually just that little guy running around down there on the bottom left. I was going to say. Normally the caterpillars really aren't hidden that well. They're just, like, in plain sight. Can't miss it. So... I was watching TV and just drinking my Mountain Dew like normal, and uh, I was just like, I don't know. I was, I was, you know, going on my non-HD television, which is in my basement or my parents' basement, rather. I can't really call this my house anymore. Just watching TV on the CRT TV, and uh, man, does it really make a difference watching TV in HD? Because, like, some of those channels you get, like, uh, 
on a CRT TV, they just look terrible. Like, half the time you can't even understand what's going on. Like, the deinterlacing is like... You can see it being deinterlaced as you're, like, watching the TV. It's like, oh, this is fantastic quality right here. So, yeah, I don't know. Also, that also brings up a really funny point. Like, when they're translating games uh, from HD to... Uh, or, I'm sorry, not from HD. From, like... Uh, you know, your standard... Uh, your standard television format, like playing on the N64 or on the GameCube or something like that. You know, obviously it's not in HD. But when it... When, like, a game is re-released, such as Banjo-Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade, it's actually really strange to, uh... Like, witness the process, because I don't know if you guys know this, but... Uh... Look at some of the... Try and play some of your older games and hook it up to an HD TV if you have one, not and, and not your CRT TV that you'd normally play it on. Y you'll notice, like, some of the effects and some of the text and stuff, it just looks really stupid, but it's, like, fuzzy and stuff, you know? I think, I think you know what I'm talking about if you do this. But then when you... Uh, plug it into your cathode ray tube television, uh... It looks just fine, which is kind of weird. And the reason for that is they they purposely uh, sort of like make the images and the character models fuzzy on the edges. And you're, they do that because your CRT TV will um, actually sharpen those edges because they're lower quality. It looks better when everything is like, fuzzy in certain places. Like, they, they purposely do that on older games to make it look sharper. And it, it's kind of a... It seems like the reverse of what you should do. Like, oh, but sharpening it would make the image sharper. But actually, it's not. If you make it fuzzy in just the right places, it'll actually make it look better on an old TV. Damn, can I get this acorn? Come on. And you can really see that when you play it... Uh, play an old game on HD TV, you're just, you look at it and you're like, wow, why are some of these things so fuzzy? And so that brings up the topic that, you know, it, it is a lot more work than you might think translating a game from, uh, from standard television to HD, because you have to take all those images, and rather than having the television, you know, guess at what it's supposed to look like, you're supposed to have it be exact and sharp, so pretty much you kind of have to, like, redo some of the character models, because they're just completely different now, you know? Anyway, right now I didn't really explain this, but we're grabbing acorns for Nabnut because he's a fat motherfucker, and he ate all of his acorns before fall came, and he's like, boo-hoo-hoo, -hoo. I'm an idiot, I ate all my acorns, now I'm just gonna starve and die over the winter, and I wish I could just leave him here so he, like, died, but we have to be the good guy. We have to do all the collection quests. Mm, Nabnut hasn't got enough. Yeah, okay, so this is the stupidest part, though. So, he's like, oh, I still haven't got enough. There's acorns in his house that he hasn't gotten. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this. I'm stuck. Stuck! I'm stuck! Uh, yeah, there's acorns in his house. And he's like, I don't have enough acorns. And he has to go get it from his house and then get it, give it to him. It's like, dude, like, you already had this one. Okay, and then now he's happy. And then he gives us a G. Oh, oh, I was standing right in the right place for that, wasn't I? Cool. So, we got now all of his oop, nuts. Now we can continue on our way, ascending this slope while beak busting these, these mother beak busters. And we can finally open up winter, probably my favorite season, the reason I live in the further north than most people. I really, you know, as much as I complain about Wisconsin weather a lot, you know, I really do enjoy Wisconsin. I think I enjoy it a lot more than I would probably enjoy living anywhere else, simply because, you know, the seasons change, the weather sucks, but, you know, you actually get to see all the seasons go by, you know? And rather than having, having like, temperate currents and or living next to the equator interfere with that, you actually get to see the the, the seasons pass by and, and have, like, you pretty much, you know, you get, you get a taste of everything living here. 
Speaking of a taste, look at this guy just eat these. Wow. Classic, classic, classic American eating. Right? I was watching a TV. That's what I was watching on TV as well. I was flipping through channels and it was like some History Channel special about like why are Americans so fat? And they were talking about like burgers and French fries. And it's like uh, it was uh, burgers are uh, I think it's like burgers are the main course served at 40% of the restaurants in the United States. And like, think about how ridiculous that is. 40%, that's like, that's a little less than half the restaurants in the United States that where their main dish is burger. Or some, some form of the burger. And it's like, wow. That's, that's a lot of burgers. And they're also talking about potatoes and stuff and how they're used. And it's, uh, I think it's, uh, the average American eats half their own body weight in potatoes each year. Which, you know, that's a cool statistic, but I don't find that one that surprising, you know, because I can, I can definitely see myself eating at least half my body weight, because that's literally nothing. I could probably eat half my body weight in probably, you know, uh, a couple days, because I don't, I don't weigh that much. Um, no. Okay, let's not forget to fly down here to the beehive. <laughs> oh wow, I just barely made it on there. Okay, so... My other question is, uh... Hold on, before I go get the Jiggy that's on the flower, because I'm trying to remember that's there. Jiggy's on the flower, Jiggy's on the flower. Uh, is there something... of importance? Of impotence? No, importance on this platform this time around. Doesn't look like there is. This one right here. No, there's nothing over there. Okay, so, to the flower we go. So now we're going back down the tree, but I don't want to fall down. I just want to get to the beehive. Beehive me. Uh, and there we go. So now we're on the flower, and we can land right on the jiggy. And I need to view my total to see what we're at. Oh, we're at 8, and 84 notes. Nice. Um, that seems about right. I think we can leave fall now. Uh, doing a quick once over in my head real quick. So we went and talked to... Well, we don't have any... We, we've only got one empty honeycomb. Where's the second empty honeycomb? They're not both in winter, are they? Both empty honeycombs in winter? But are, are both of them in winter? I didn't think they were. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Drawing a blank. They might be. I can't I can't think of anything that I might have missed. Well, there's a mumbo token right there. Let's go get that. Well, I think. Hey, the empty honeycomb piece. It's not at the top of the tree, is it? Did I just like completely skip over it? You know, I might have. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure, and I'm probably gonna split the episode right here anyway. So I'm gonna get this Momo token, and then it's probably just gonna be the end of the that uh, this part of the episode. So I'm gonna travel back up to the tree and see if I missed an empty honeycomb in that sort of like top area that you can go in, and uh, then I'll meet you guys back on the ground if, in fact, there is not, and if there is, and I'll meet you at the top of the tree. So I'll see you guys in a little bit then.